You see a nice pile of 110s there. They actually still need dyed. I just picked them up a week or two ago. Uh, I got a number 2 coil spring, a number 12 long spring, some stretchers, uh, some trap stakes, a uh, pouch, hatchet, and line of pliers, uh, some more essentials, uh, just in general a few trapping items here and uh, believe it or not these only cost me about for everything you see here in the floor about thirty dollars and uh, I'm Steve-O by the way and uh, I'm here I wanted to make a video I was talking to a bunch of guys this weekend again uh, the uh, craft uh, fair that I did uh, because I also build wooden furniture and I was talking to them and one of the guys mentioned he used trap as a kid but he was a little concerned about getting back into it because he did not believe he could get his money back um, and I got, that kinda got me thinking uh, you know I trap on a pretty tight budget and I wanted to just kinda make a video showing that you can do it for pretty cheap and uh, what I got here is a pretty basic set <coughs> Probably the bare essentials to get you started. Um, but like I said, it only cost me thirty dollars for everything here, uh, and I'll go through it pretty much one by one, um, just kind of show everybody uh, and, and explain how much it cost me and what uh, where I got the stuff. Um, I might as well start here with the 110s. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty standard 110s. Uh, these are actually Duke 110s. These are the most expensive thing here and actually cost the majority of the money out of all this stuff. Um, and they do need dyed. They're basically brand new still. Um, they've just been rusting for a couple weeks and they're ready to be dipped. But uh, they cost $18 for a half dozen. And that was at a, a trade show that a trapper supply guy was there. He sold them to me for $18 for the half dozen. Um, and they are good. Duke's a pretty good trap. They're not quite the, on the same level as Victor, but they're they're pretty close. And they'll do good for muskrat and mink. Um, moving on to the number two coil spring and long spring traps. Um, these traps are actually old Victor traps. Pretty well aged, but both function great still. Um, they're two fifty a piece. I bought them at a yard sale. Older guy had them in a bucket. He wanted five dollars for both of them. Sounded fair to me. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, they both still work. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. Cosmetically, they just probably need some uh, more speed dip or logwood dye applied. But other than that, they're in great shape. Uh, moving on to the stretchers. I got all three of those. You can see them a little better this way. Got all three of those for five dollars. Um, they were at the same trade shows as Trap Supplier, but at a different booth. And the guy just wanted uh, five dollars for all three of them. And they're in good shape. They're just muskrat stretchers. Uh, so you could do a small coon, I guess, with them, but it probably wouldn't shape quite right. So they're more just for muskrat. Uh, moving on to the tools here. Um, I have here camp axe, which is just a pretty general general camp axe, nothing special. But these are probably my favorite thing now on the trap line. I don't like uh, hammers, so these are much more versatile. And as you can see, my cheap cardboard cover, just to make sure I don't kill myself, they all edge pretty well. It's not the best in the world, but um, it and the little sheath. I guess you say here uh, because it came with it. It was a dollar at a, a yard sale. Also the same for the lineman pliers. They were just a dollar. Picked them up out of miscellaneous bucket. <coughs> so they, they they turned out well. Um, moving on, I have here. Uh, we'll move into that in a second. Uh, here I have a homemade dirt sifter. Uh, it's pretty good. It didn't cost me anything. It was all scrap materials. Uh, it did not cost a dime. Uh, beside the old stuff that was laying around. Like I said, I run a wood shop, so I have tons <laughs> of scrap 2x4s and stuff laying around. 
It's a little heavy. It really should have been made out of one by. Uh, that would have reduced the weight a lot and still been just as durable. That's something I plan to do in the future. But it is fully functional. Moving on to this pile here. As you can see, it's mostly uh, wooden stakes for muskrat traps. Those were all free. They came off some tobacco sticks that uh, a gentleman gave me. I used some of them for crafts. The little odds and ends chunks that are left get used as muskrat stakes. Um, here is a tent stake. This is a tent stake. And I use it a lot of times for muskrat traps as well. But it is about... These are 18 inch stakes. And they are great for muskrat. They will, they will hold anything muskrat and mink. And they do a great job. It needs dyed the same as the uh, traps. But... It, it works great. Uh, moving on, this was actually free. Uh, this, <coughs> excuse me, um, this was free. I picked it up out of a free box uh, along the side of the road. I just seen it sitting there, and they had some leather stuff that I noticed, and uh, this was in there. So I picked it up. It works great, as you can see. I, it wasn't in great condition when I got it, but I have continued to beat the snot out of it. Uh, and trapping usually is hard on lots of that kind of stuff. But the belt uh, fit my holster well for my revolver, and this, you know, fits the sheath on the uh, axe as well. And I can carry this, which carry my wire and stuff in, and I can look. I can actually coil that down a little bit fit it right in here, carry the pliers right like right in this pouch here, carry some odds and ends, staples and nails and etc. And it works out great. Alright, so like I said, all that stuff only ran me about thirty dollars. That's for everything you see there and I got some uh some I'm working on this year for my trap line which I will show more of when it gets seasoned. Time to trap. Uh, is can sets. I've been using bucket sets for a lot of years. Uh, I wanted to move on to the uh, tin can set. And I just read about it for a fishing game. I'm going to try it out. Seems like it ought to work pretty well, especially with these bigger cans, especially for raccoon and me. And uh, on that note, too, a good bait for those is um, some chopped up carp, which I get every year for free because I get plenty of them fishing. And uh, as you can see there, there's some uh, 330 beaver trap, which was not free. That was about $25, but it actually paid itself off this year with a couple beavers, so no big deal. Um, but that's about it. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to show that you can get quite a bit. And with this stuff, you know, the and, I'll, and that reminds me, this wire here, uh, this is... You can see it's just it's pretty thick gauge wire actually it's um, it's probably about a 12 gauge uh, it's actually hay bale wire and what I do is we have goats so we feed them hay through the winter we have to buy it uh, I don't buy a ton but I buy enough that I get a couple dozen of these every year this is great trapping wire it, it works great for drowning sets it works great just to wire off traps um, like I said, it's free. I just keep it. When I, when I undo it off the bales, I keep it, wind it up, and like I said, it's free. So that's a great way to uh, have some good good quality wire. And this is very good quality wire. Uh, it's super strong. And uh, it's a great way to have that ready to go. And like I said, I, I usually bind it up a little bit tighter, but uh, that one didn't quite go as well as planned. So, like I said, this is all about $30. And with this set here, what I kind of really wanted to show was, with this set here, you really could get started trapping, especially uh, like muskrat and mink and coon. Um, especially, the number two is a little big for a coon, but if you set it up on a drowning rig, this will slide right down, drown the coon. It's heavy enough, too. Uh, these old Victor traps are heavy enough, too. They will help drown the coon quicker because it can't struggle as long. It, it kind of works as a, a little extra weight. Uh, I do prefer usually a one and a half or a one and three quarter for coon, but you could use this. You could use that long spring there for coon as well. Um, so it would work as a basic kit. Uh, again,
my name is Steve-O, and I uh, just wanted to put that out there that you can start trapping for a lot less than you think, and there would be no problem. I don't see anybody having any problem with this $30 set of stuff here to uh, easily make back all that money. Uh, if nothing else, just in, find a couple good ponds with some muskrats, you're going to easily make back $30. Um, so, go out there, have fun, and uh, hopefully when this Ohio weather turns from rain to uh, a little bit better stuff, I'll have some trapping videos and some, um, uh, some videos just on the outdoors and fishing and whatnot as soon as I can. But, again, uh, we'll talk to you later.